The North Kent marshes are rich in bird life. An excellent place to see a wide variety of species in spring. Hello! This spring I've been doing a lot of birding here at Higham Marshes. The area contains seasonally flooded pasture, salt marsh patches and mudflats, reedy ditches and woodland scrub. Spring is a great time to get to grips with sedge warbler and reed warbler, as well as their complex songs. We will take a closer look at these birds later in the video. But for now, let's stop mucking around. Let's go and see some birds. One of the key species at high marshes is northern lapwing. This large wader is unmistakable with its striking plumage and incredible crest. And the call is just as memorable. Northern lapwing has declined as a breeding bird in much of Britain, but good numbers of them nest at higher marshes. Small numbers of oyster catchers also breed on the wet meadows here. They favour small areas of salt marsh to roost upon at high tide. Other species of wader are just passing through, including Wimbrel, Dunlin, Curlew Sandpiper, and this black tailed godwit in smart breeding plumage. All heading north to their breeding grounds. A wide range of birds nest on the marshes in spring, including meadow pipit, which competes with skylarks in song flight. Common cuckoo is one of the most anticipated birds in spring, and several visit Higham to lay their eggs in the nests of meadow pipits, and reed warblers. Another distinctive song comes from the reeds. A reed bunting. Reed buntings live at high marshes all year round, but in spring they are at their most obvious, singing from reeds and small bushes. Little egret has become a common sight on the marshes. They nest at a nearby site, but can often be seen fishing in the wettest areas at Higham. Habitat management at Higham creates ideal conditions for linnet too. These farmland birds are declining in many places, but the extensive farming here means they are doing well. Common whitethroat arrives in spring when weather generally improves, although this one is getting blown around in the wind. At the start of spring, the marshes still host lots of wildfowl, including these Eurasian widgeon. These handsome ducks form large flocks on the wet pasture and mudflats before migrating north. Small numbers of white-fronted geese linger in early spring, joining resident greylag geese before leaving for their breeding grounds in northern Russia. Teal is another species common in early spring, but then dwindling in abundance, leaving smaller numbers of breeding wildfowl, including shoveler, gadwall, mallard, Shelled up, looking like a work of art, and mute swan with its ugly ducklings. This spot on the River Thames is one of my favourites. Sitting here feels like I'm sitting in the middle of the river. 
surrounded by wide skies which are punctuated by historical relics and industry. Avocets feeding on exposed mud are a common sight at this spot. Large flocks of avocets can be seen into early spring, but good numbers breed nearby and can be enjoyed at the riverside at higher marshes. Not many turnstones make it this far up the River Thames, but a few can be seen on the stonier sections of the foreshore at Higham until mid-spring. Is there a more handsome shorebird than ruddy turnstone when it's in breeding plumage? It's certainly one of my favourites. Shorebirds feed on the mud here at low tide, and at high tide they roost right here. A flock of up to 400 Dunlin regularly roost at this point, as they pass through on their northern migration. I will leave a link in the description of this video to another video which talks all about this roost of Dunlin at higher marshes. And of course, the river attracts a variety of species of gulls. Reed-filled ditches like this are the best place to watch and listen to reed and sedge warblers. Reed warbler is a small plain brown bird with pale underparts and as its name suggests it spends much of its time in the reeds. Sedge warbler is slightly smaller and streakier with a dark eyebrow. It loves reeds but also sings from nearby bushes. What I really love about these birds are all the phrases of mimicry of other species that they insert into their song. Listen to this sedge warbler putting the piping sound of coochicks into its song. And this reed warbler copies the call of common redshank. If you listen carefully, you can hear bits of red shank, reed bunting and yellow wagtail calls in their song. And of course this makes sense because all these birds live here too. Most of Higham marshes consist of various wetlands, but patches of scrub and woodland hold some interesting birds too. Like this little owl. A pair of these birds like to sunbathe in the late afternoon sun. And a few nesting lesser red poles. These tiny finches form flocks in the winter, but in spring they pair up to breed. Another of the most anticipated springtime birds here is Nightingale. You can hear its song among other birds here. If the birds of high marshes charmed you, then show your love by clicking the thumbs up like icon thingy that's below and subscribe so you don't miss the next video.